Hey, Max. The professor is mad at us. Sure. We must do good with these questions. Yeah, we got to get every question right. How we do that? I've got an idea. Professori has got the answers, right? So? So we get them from him. He's not going to give them to us? He don't have to. We steal them. <laughs> there you are, coffee. Hot water. <laughs> Hot water? Yes, please. I bring my own tea bag. <laughs> you can't do that. But I'm already doing it. I'm starting economy ride. That, but that tea bag's already been used. Most Come definitely. On. I'm making three cups of tea out of one tea baggie. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you can't make your own tea. Oh, blimey. Then I'm not having any at all. Next. Who's next? Buenas noches, my little flower. <laughs> How beautiful you look tonight. Just like a Madonna. Are you talking to me? See. Si. No. No. What? No. Whatever it is you're after. It's nothing. Huh? Well, maybe just one little thing. Uh, you see, uh, I am, uh, I am a little tall with the money. Uh, I pay for the coffee tomorrow, no? No. No money. No coffee. Ah. Ah. Reggie, you are my friend, mi amigo. You lend me ten pence. I'm only having ten p. So that. <laughs> Señora, gracias. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, it's not taking my last ten p. You, my very good friend. <laughs> Coffee, please. Ten p. I'm not having any money. You're not having any coffee. <laughs> Listen, everybody, because this is very important. What's the matter? It's about the test we have. Yeah, we got to do good. Otherwise, we're all in the minestrone. In the soup. That's <laughs> right. Now, we have a plan. What plan? We pinch the answers. That is cheating. That's right. I do not cheat. Perhaps the exam is not too bad. Maybe we can answer the question okay. Yeah. It's not too difficult. Let's have a look. Question one. Construct sentences using the following types of clauses. A verbal clause of time, noun clause as object or preposition, and main clause coordinate with first. Well, Anna? How we steal the answers. <laughs> Brown, your students have been at it again. Oh, it's not more graffiti. No, not this time. Read this. Young virile male student wishes to meet nice lady from cookery class for evenings of mutual pleasure. Apply Maximilian Papandrios. <laughs> Kindly inform Mr. Papandrios that the notice board is for official notices and not for procuring young women. Right. I'm sure his intentions were quite innocent. Evenings of mutual pleasure. Yes, well, he probably only wanted her to whip up an omelette. <laughs> well, tell him to whip up his own omelettes. <laughs> right, I, I, I'll have a word with him. See that you do. Your coffee, Miss Courtney. Thank you, Gladys. Oh, by the way, Mr. Brown, how is the mock examination coming along? Oh, well, we haven't started it yet. We're going to get cracking just as soon as we've finished our tea break. Well, I do hope that the results will be good. Otherwise, I shall have to think about axing the course. Axing the course? You wouldn't do that, surely? I most certainly would. It would be a complete waste of time for them to carry on and sit for an examination they have no hope of passing. Thank you, Gladys. Well, that's it. I've Ooh. had it. Well, I didn't think your class was as bad as that. Oh, they are at the moment. Oh, I'm sure that when the time comes, they'll pull through with flying colours, but right at the moment, the only thing they like to get right on the test paper is their names, and even that's doubtful. Well, <laughs> you'll have to help them with the answers. Well, give them the answers. Yeah, not exactly give them to them. Just leave them lying around where they can see them. That is cheating. No, not exactly. It's not as though it's a real exam. I mean, you said yourself they come out with flying colours. Ah, it's a pity if the course has to be cancelled. All because of failing a mock exam. But you know best. Much too obvious. Uh, 
Are we still at the answers? I know. First we hit him on head. <laughs> That's no good. We make too much mess. We've got to get him out of the class. How we do that? I don't know. Hey, let's all think. Studying hard? Professori, you're here. Yes. Sit down. Have a cup of tea. Have two cups of tea. <laughs> we'll be back, huh? Max. Yeah, well, just a minute, Max, I want to work with you. Me? Yeah, I believe that this, uh, this notice is yours. Sure. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that Miss Courtney will not allow you to have that on the notice board. Okay. As a point of interest, did anybody from the cookery class respond? Sure. She was beautiful. We had a fantastic time. Never before I had a such a time. Really? What does she cook for you? Cook? We had a takeaway. <laughs> Look, uh, where are you going? Uh, we got to spend two p. Well, the phrase is spend a penny. Sure. I spend a penny, he spend a penny, I spend a penny. You won't uh, go near the classroom, I hope. No, Professor. And you see, I've just uh, left the answers on my desk and I wouldn't want you to be uh, looking at them and copying them down. Would we do that, Max? No. <laughs> that would be cheating, Mr. Brown, wouldn't it? Hurry up. Yeah, nearly finish. All right. You're looking for something. <laughs> Is Mr. Brown in the classroom? No, Mr. Brown is in the tea room. Down the corridor and on your left. I am familiar with the geography of this building. Sure. Would you mind moving? What for? I wish to enter the classroom. But Mr. Brown is in the tea room. So you have already told me, but I wish to wait for him in the classroom. Okay, Miss Courtney. <laughs> you want to go into the classroom, Miss Courtney? I will open the door for you, Miss Courtney. I am not deaf. <laughs> Mr. Capello, all ready for taking your exam? Sure, all ready. Good. Ah, oh, Miss Courtney, did you want me? No, I just thought that I would supervise the class during their mock examination. Yes, well, there's no need to do that. I'm quite capable of doing it myself. Mr. Brown, when the students take their real exam, you will not be allowed to stay in the classroom, never mind supervise. It's a precaution against any attempt to cheat. Cheat? Yes. It has been known in the past for an over-enthusiastic teacher to provide his students with the answers. Really? How contemptible. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, you have exactly one hour to complete this paper, starting from now. Uh, excuse me, please, Miss Courtney. Yes? Can I spend a penny, please? All right, but hurry. You don't need to take your exercise book with you, do you? Just maybe I think of an answer, so I write it down. <laughs> Well, come along, Mr. Nadim. Yes, please. Where do you go along to? <laughs> we are not going along to anywhere. I just want you to get started on the answers. I'll do my best. Excuse me, please. Yes. Toilet, please. Very well. <laughs> but don't be long. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, here are the answers. I put them in my book already. Good. I put them in my book. Hey, I got to tell Ali, Ranjit, one and Daro, and then the girls. Okay. Hey. We pretty smart, eh? Sure. We have no trouble with this exam. <laughs> I'll be very quick. Would you like to go to the toilet, Mr. Brown? <laughs> No, no, not at all. Everyone else has been. Yes, well, it's probably the cold weather. <laughs> we have another five minutes, Miss Schmidt. I am finished. Oh, good, then I'll take a book. Has anyone else finished? Yes, 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 yes. I'll collect up your books and I'll take them. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you. <clears throat> I shall take these home with me tonight and mark them personally. I do hope they've done reasonably well. So do I. Otherwise, it's the axe. Oh, blimey. <laughs> You're chopping his head off? <laughs> Only metaphorically. 
Oh, you have about two minutes, Miss Chung. Not necessarily. Finished. Thank you. <laughs> well, good night, everybody. Oh, oh, you know. I shall see you all tomorrow. Okay. Oh, just a minute, Miss Courtney. Won't you uh, need the answers? I shan't need them, Miss Brown. Oh. However, I might as well take them. It might speed up the marking. Oh. Is something the matter? These are the wrong answers. <laughs> Oh, these aren't the answers to last year's paper. They're the previous years. I must have picked them up by mistake. <laughs> oh, I suppose last year's answers must still be in my filing cabinet. <laughs> Are you feeling all right, Mr. Brown? You look a little peaky. No, no, I'm fine. Never felt better. Mr. Brown? <laughs> Good evening, Miss Courtney. Mr. Brown, I marked your students' examination papers last night. Yes, well... Unbelievable. I can't explain. Everybody answered every question correctly. You see, what happened? <laughs> what did you say? Everybody answered every question correctly. Good Lord. I told you it was unbelievable. It was positively miraculous. See for yourself? <laughs> But these are the answers you gave me last night. That's correct. But you said they were the previous year's answers. Yes, but I discovered last night that I had also given you the previous year's questions. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Brown. Your students are a credit to you. <laughs>